Hey there, thanks for watching another episode of Artist's Life. Today's episode revolves around sketching. So we have a still life in front of us that we're going to be drawing. And the supplies that you need would be 18 by 24 newsprint paper and a 6B sketching pencil. So if you're ready, here we go. The first thing that I want to do is uh, just go ahead and plus, put some um, placement marks. So that's the highest point, the lowest to the lemon, and uh, the orange on the right to the apple. So my angle and yours are slightly different, so please do keep that in mind. What I'm doing is um, to make sure that I have enough space uh, with my um, uh, drawing. I am um, simplifying by um, grouping things together. And um, so right here uh, on top to where the apple is. So uh, right here is where my uh, opening is um, to the side and the other side of the white face. Um, so simplifying obviously means to just don't look at details and, and look at the outlines and draw extremely light, okay? So I know that it's really hard for you to see what's going on right now, but you know, do try to follow along. So that's the handle to the apple and from the apple to where that uh, white vase is going to be. So make sure that, um, make sure that you place, so that's where the stem grows from, okay? And uh, the more you scan through your um, st uh, uh, setup, um, the darker your drawing becomes. So from this angle, uh, I have the orange and the lemon. So again, as you could see, it's slightly different angles, but um, so I'm using a pencil and a kneaded eraser, as you could see. And sometimes you could use the kneaded eraser to lighten up your lines, or if you have extra lines that you don't want, you can just get rid of it. So let's go back to the um, lid of the white face. So uh, I'm holding the pencil uh, like a little stick, but you can hold it any way you want. There's really no format or the right or wrong way. Because of my setup, that's why I'm holding it this way. And um, so now I'm putting marks and defining the, uh, the features, uh, you could say. Uh, the features of the vase, uh, just defining the shapes more, I guess. So that's the side. Here's the spout, and the angle from the lid to the spout is about right there. Okay, and that's the opening. And just bring this down. Okay, so that is my spout right here. And um, I'll most probably come back, I'm pretty sure. Okay, let's erase that. I'll come back and I will define the shapes more, which means I will clean it up a little bit more. Um, so never get stuck on one area. If you notice, I, was, I simplified it. Now I'm going more into detail. Um, always focus on your contour lines. Um, just one technique I want to share with you at this moment and that's um, knowing where to draw let's say the lemon to the vase to the handle how do you know where your drawing is the right line well you have to look at the relationship from one line to another so if you notice the more I scan through the more I go through my drawing, it's starting to get a little bit darker. So the handle, okay, I am guessing that the handle, the angle of it from where I'm looking to where you're looking, it's slightly different. So I apologize. 
Okay, so let's refine the apple a little bit more. Okay, that's where the stem will.
you're trying to always be one step ahead. Um, never get too caught up with detail again. Uh, take your time. Uh, never get stuck on. Face and sign your name like what I did. All right, guys, so thanks for watching. Make some comments, and I'll see you next week. Stay healthy. Bye. <music>